interest rates are they finally coming down and if so by how much and if you're in the market for a new home in 2024 or in 2025 what does that look like for you as a home buyer So yes, it finally looks like interest rates are coming down. And excuse the sunglasses today, by the way, guys, it's super bright out here and I've got to get this video out there. But yes, it looks like interest rates are coming down. But what does that mean for you? And by how much are they coming down? Well, at the moment, we're kind of in that 6% range. We're still, I'm seeing a lot of mortgages that are in that kind of mid six range. And that really just depends on your credit score, your down payment and all of those good factors. But when we look at like the Fed funds rate right now, we're in that kind of five and a quarter to five and a half percent range. And by the way, there is supposed to be an update coming out tomorrow and this video may take a few days to go out. So you may have seen, you may see another announcement this week about the Fed funds rate dropping. And yes, what that might mean is that mortgage rates aren't affected by that right away because the recent drop that we've had in mortgage rates may already be baked into what is it being announced this week and that fed funds rate you know that drop the drops that we've seen over the last few months is really it's really connected to the inflation rate coming down overall inflation has been it's about 2.5 2.6 percent at the moment uh, but it has you know but they are getting closer to that two percent goal that they're looking for they're trying to get um the unemployment rate under 4% and that's at 4.2%. So as those indicators come down, there is more confidence and control over inflation and in interest rates, which is really good for any new home buyers. And, um, and guys, this market has been super slow for the last two and a half years. It has been a lot slower, obviously, than what it was during COVID. If you're hanging out for some big price drop or price crash or whatever, I just don't see it coming. I really don't. And, all, and also, guys, while I'm here, I've had a lot of people reach out and ask me about the election. Does it matter if we buy before the election, after the election, and does it matter who wins? It doesn't matter who wins, guys. It matters to you and you or I and whatever candidate we're back in, right? It matters in that regard, it matters to us. But in terms of these interest rates, I don't think it's gonna matter whatsoever. It might matter in terms of World War III breaking out next year, but in terms of interest rates, I don't think it's gonna make any difference whatsoever. So yeah, as I go on to you know prices and things, um, if you're somebody that is really just holding out for the perfect time, I highly suggest that you don't. And I've mentioned this on my channel many times before. Yes, timing is great. A lot of the times it's very, you, you, there's so much of it that's out of your control, but we're seeing a real pivot point in this market right now, guys. We really, really are. As we come over this hump of the election, I think you're really gonna see the market open up more. I think, you know, notoriously, election years are very quiet in real estate. And it's, this has been no exception. It's been very quiet this year. It was quieter last year as well. And we've seen the effects of that in the stats. And I will go over some stats with you shortly. So as we, you know, as I talk, as I just stay on this topic of, of you know, confidence in the market. I've seen so many videos out there that like, you know, there's guys walking around on YouTube just looking at houses saying, it's gonna be a crash. This this house has just come down $50,000, $100,000 over there. Honestly, guys, I could do exactly the same type of videos. I really, really could. But the, the problem is there is what you're not really seeing is there's a, lot of, there's a lot of sellers out there that just don't understand the market right now. They think they're gonna list their home and get top, top dollar for it. They really won't. And Yes, they've made significant upgrades to their home and you know it, they have something that is super unique most homes right now are selling you know i think the average days on the market is around 80 days or so right now which i'll go over some stats with you shortly the inventory's gone up a lot um you know we've had some listings that have struggled we've sold every one of them this year every single one of our listings we've sold this year but a couple have really struggled because the sellers just are either wanting far too much money for it, they're not being realistic, they're not being reasonable. And we have turned down some listings this year where we just know we're never gonna sell those homes. And we've we've been around too long to know that there's just no point in us trying to market a home that is way overpriced. Anyway, I'm going off on a little tangent a little bit, but guys, you've got to see what's going on on the ground here. You've, you know, it's all right saying, oh yeah, there's all these uh, videos out there, content out there that's saying that you know, there's a price crash or all these prices are coming down. 
guys it's super this market is super house specific like you know a great house price right will still sell within days in florida in on the west coast here of where we are but you know if people are being too ambitious it will not sell so just realize there is great opportunity right now but if you're coming with with expectations that you're going to get some super super ridiculous deal then i really am just letting you know that's just going to be hard um in in a market in any market you know in florida right now in these days so so yes that is um you know that is where we're at right now and by the way as i stay on interest rates um I expect the interest rates to be lower into the five range in the second quarter of next year. So they're slowly going to come down. But one thing that they are not right now is as low as some of the builders that are on, you know, the builders numbers that are on their website. And I can see, you know, on their website right now, you know, like MI Homes, you'll see these numbers banded around like 4.875%. Neil Communities is like 4.25 to 5.407%. Or you get a free pool. You've got, you know, KB Homes 4.875. Taylor Morrison is like 4.25 to 5.25 in year one and year two. Guys, all of those interest rates are tied to quick moving homes. They're not for building from scratch. They are very for very few select homes. So don't be lured by that. You know, they are, it's really just a bit of, it's a bit of bait there for you to, to reach out and to see if you can get an interest rate that low. Of course, you're gonna have to go through their preferred lender. And yeah, there's gonna be, you know, but it's only gonna be on specific homes. And you'll see that with near enough every builder at the moment. They've either got really good, really good incentives on, interest rates or they're offering a lot of money towards closing costs and will pretty much cover your closing costs so in terms of new construction and in terms of if you want to be here in 2025 you know there's a really good opportunity right now because for new construction it's going to take around six to well, maybe, maybe sort of seven to nine months to build a home and with interest rates coming down in you know especially in like the second quarter of next year is what everyone's kind of anticipating them to be in that five range again then that's going to align very nicely with your timing so definitely keep that in mind of, of new construction because the incentives are definitely there right now and you know the the interest rates are going to be lower by the time your home is ready that's certainly what we're looking at just quickly going back to a quick move in home i did just help a lady from utah move here and she got a really really good deal on a, um, a quick move in home in parish we got the home down by about eight thousand dollars and on top of that they gave twenty seven thousand five hundred towards closing cost which was around six percent or so but on top of that they bought down um, the points for the mortgage by 2.5 points so so her mortgage ended up being in that kind of four to five range all because it was a quick moving home so there's great opportunities at the moment guys for quick moving homes and for new construction especially when it's tied to interest rates which is awesome so definitely keep that in mind as I kind of really transition over to the resale market I'm going to go over some stats with you because there's diff there's opportunities here for different reasons you know I've just gone over interest rates and quick moving homes you know that are kind of aligned with either homes that are ready right now with new construction or they're ready in um, you know that are going to be ready in seven to nine months but there is also fantastic opportunity in the resale market now although this video is, is obviously all about interest rates I might as well just go over some stats with you to show you why there is also opportunity right now associated with a lot of a lot more inventory in the market and I do think this is going to dwindle as we go come into the winter months and away from the summer because the summer is always pretty quiet here in Florida in real estate and it does tend to pick up you know in the fall and in the winter so yes right now What's really interesting is the average sale price for a home is right around $642,000. And this time last year, it was $642,000. Literally nothing has changed with the average price point in that time. However, in the last year, 11 out of the last 12 months, the average price point has been well in the 700,000 range and even in the 800,000 range. So the prices are as low as they've been in a year and the inventory has really increased like i mentioned like the the inventory the 67 
100 homes on the market right now. This time last year, there was 4,300. That's a huge jump, guys. So there's been a lot more people on the market right now. And there's a lot of sellers that are really wanting, you know, to sell their home and to move on. If you're ready to move sooner, this is where you take advantage. You might get it, you might, your interest rate might be in the sixes right now compared to the fives in next year, but there is great opportunity to be, to be making offers at a lower amount, especially if you're in the resale market. If a home has been on the market for a while, you absolutely need to take advantage of that. I definitely don't recommend a super low offer if it's been on the market a few days, but if it's been on the market a while, Let's try it, you know? I absolutely see there's so much more inventory out there now that you really are in a great position to make these offers. And, um, and while I'm just talking about stats, the other interesting thing is that 82 days it takes to sell a home on average right now in the market, whereas this time last year it was 48, which is really interesting. And homes a year ago were selling for 96% of the asking price, and now they're down to 95%. Again, it's all just average in the Manatee County and Sarasota area, but that's really interesting news and great for you if you're a buyer. So there's opportunity, guys. If you're in that resale market, take advantage of a lot more options, you know? And if you're in the new construction space, you either wanna be jumping on a, a quick moving home at a super low interest rate and taking advantage of all those great incentives, or you wanna build from scratch and really take advantage of that, of that, you know, the timing of coming into that 5% range in around seven to nine months time and, and figuring out, you know, probably a, a summer move for you next year and what that looks like. Now, of course, you know, like I said, I, I personally um, moved this year and, um, and I have to say, like, I, <laughs> I am so happy I made the move. Um, if it was, if you're making that move, guys, it's got to be more than the numbers. You know, if it was just about numbers for me, I would never have moved. I really wouldn't have done. But I needed it more for my soul, and, and honestly, I was I was just yearning for a move. You'll know when you're ready. But I, what I do want to say is, if you are just trying to time the market to try and perfect it as best as possible without any other reasoning. You know, it's, it's got to be more than that. It's got to improve your lifestyle. It's got to be about being closer to friends or family or improving your work situation, retirement, whatever your reasons are. It's got to be more than just the numbers. Because like I said, I, I could have stayed in my previous house for forever. And funnily enough, that home actually hits the market this week. And I'll do a video in due course of that home um, in Tampa and you know I'll go over why we bought it how much we sold it for all the upgrades I'll go over all of that but I am so happy to be here where I am now um, and of course moving is always a pain in the butt right it really is but um, you know when you want to be in a new area and you need a new home you need just a new a new chapter new scenery and you want to be closer to better places you want this different lifestyle then um, then yes it's got to mean more than the numbers obviously the numbers have to make sense for you always they always 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 have to make sense for you and I'm not saying to neglect you know what you're coming from you're probably coming from a much lower interest rate but ultimately we only live once right and uh, you've got to be happy where you are so um, so yes and the other last final thing is if you are hearing all the scare stories about homeowner insurance, I just want to upload what my homeowner insurance was for a 4,200 square foot home, a new construction home um, with Taylor Morrison. And we're paying just under 1,900 bucks for the year for a brand new home. When it comes to homeowner insurance, guys, you are always better off with a new or newer home. It, these, these scare stories that are out there are really only attached to older homes with older roofs and, and especially ones that are kind of going closer to the coast because you might have to you know consider flood insurance and things like that too but that that is what i paid through florida strategic and i've used them a load of times before i didn't even shop around for that so i wanted to show you you know my homeowner insurance because it's funny i was helping a younger couple over in St. Pete in the summer and their quote was around 3000 and their home was about half the size of mine but it's because it was older it was built it was built before 2002 or 2003 when the uh, when the building code changed for the roofs here in Florida and of course the roof was aging and it was that much higher so it goes to show you that a new construction home will always be better um, or a newer home will be better when it comes to homeowner insurance so that's all I've got for you today I hope you uh, didn't mind me walking around in the sun it is so hot here still um, I'm just about to um, fall into a big ball of, of sweat here so I'm gonna sign off but yeah I'm uh, I just bought a new camera so I'm 
I might do some more of these walking videos. And, um, and yeah, if you've got any questions about the market, if there's anything else that I haven't covered, let me know. But I definitely think you're gonna see interest rates drop gradually over the next few months. And does it matter who wins the election? Yes, of course it does. And it's my first time voting, by the way, first time voting uh, for me um, since I became a citizen two and a half years ago, two years ago. So um, so yeah, I get to vote this time. Woohoo! And, um, and yeah, you know, we'll see. But I think once this election's out of the way, I think you'll really start to see this market open. And, um, and yes, if you've been holding out, now's the time to really explore your options. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Take care.